Hi guys, welcome to your favorite program on Aptitude. In this capsule, we try to cover a question from numerical ability. This is a quite commonly asked question in various MBA entrance exams. It had been asked many a times in the CAT exam and MAT exam. Let's look at the question now. The question says, what is the highest power of 10 that can perfectly divide 343 factorial? I'm writing it here, 343 factorial. What is the highest power of 10 that can divide it? You already know that a number would be divisible by 10 when it has a 0 at the end of it. If there are two zeros, it would be divided by 10 square. If there are three zeros, it would be divided by 10 cube. So all that we need to figure out is how many zeros would be there as the last digits for 343 factorial. How can we find that? Okay, the immediate thought many of us get is, hey, 10 is having one zero. 20 is having another 0 and so on, 90, then 100 has two zeros, 110 has 0 and so on, then we'll just come up with up till 300, two zeros, 310, one zero, 321, zero, 330, one zero, 340, one zero. Let's calculate these zeros. Will that be the answer? No. The tricky part here is there are other numbers when get multiplied that yield, okay, zeros in the units place like 2 into 5, you get 10. Let's say 4 into 25, you are getting 100. So, there you are getting extra 2 zeros. Then there is something called 6 into 15, let's say 90, you got another 0 here. So, to get a 0 or a 10, what else do we need to have? To get a 10, we need to have 1, 2 and 1, 5. 1, 2 and 1, 5. So, all that we need to find is how many tens can be formed in this way? Let's say there are like total 2 power, there are total m2s that is 2 power m and there are total n5s in 3 factorial, I am saying 5 power n and obviously you know that m would be greater than n, obvious m greater than n. But the number of tens that can be formed would be only 2 power n into 5 power n. So that is how we can find the total number of tens that exist within 343 factorial. So here we try to answer this question using a formula which has been like very famous. Here instead of trying to solve this question using traditional method, we try to use the formula to solve it quick. The formula has a new concept called step x function. Step x function means you just need to write the integer part of any value you get. Let's say 5 by 2, the step x is 5 by 2, 2.5, but only integer part we write, so 2 is the value. So this is how step x function has been defined. Now you need to apply the same concept here. As I mentioned, we need to consider 2s and 5s within this 343 factorial. 343 divided by 2 applies step x plus 343 divided by 2 square apply step function, 343 divided by 2 cube apply step function and so on okay up till 343 divided by 2 power 9 but this will be anyway 0 because 5 12. So only we will consider up till 343 divided by 2 power 8 which will yield us 1. But as I already mentioned, the number of 2 should be obviously more than the number of 5s. So it's good to find only the number of 5s. Just for the sake of understanding, I have derived this. But what you need to find is actually only the number of 5s that exist. Because only number of 5s are going to give the, uh, I mean, because 2s are more, some 2s get wasted. It all depends on how many 5s are available for you. So how many 5s are available? Let's write 343 divided by 5 plus 343 divided by 5 square. So we keep increasing the power of 5. Then 343 divided by 5 cube plus 343 divided by 5 power 4. But anyway, it's of no use because that yields 0. We just need to stop where it's going to yield 0. So if you just check this, this would be 68. Then you have this. This is nothing but 13. Because 25, you know that 13 times it goes and the remaining part is anyway fraction, leave it. Then this will be 2 times. So the answer is how much? 
68 plus 15 that is nothing but 83. So, the total number of zeros that exists at the end of 343 factorial is 83 zeros. So, the highest power of n that can divide 343 factorial is 83 that is 10 power 83 can perfectly divide 343 factorial leaving remainder 0. I would like to give you another example so that you understand this concept better. What is the highest power of 7 that can divide 350 factorial? 7 is already a prime number so I do not need to worry about factors. If it is not a prime number we are supposed to factorize it and find the number for which uh, the power is smaller. In this case 7 is already a prime number. The formula which we need to apply is 350 divided by 7 plus 350 divided by 7 square plus 350 divided by 7 cube and here I will stop because that will uh, okay that will be 343. So, it will already yield 1 and after that it will be 0. So, 350 divided by 7 I am getting 5 0 plus 350 divided by 49 that will be 7 plus 350 divided by 343 it has yielded 1. So, the highest power of 7 that can divide 350 factorial is 58 and is 58. So, this is the uh, concept behind what is the highest power of a particular prime number that can divide the given factorial. If it is a composite number we need to break it into prime numbers and then try to identify uh, the prime number for which the power is smaller. I hope you understood the concept. So, we will be coming up with more such interesting questions in the upcoming episodes. Stay tuned.